I'm about Sweet to I'm about toys. to fucking hand out slaps like I did in high school. Mm. I'm about to I'm about to hand out them L's like fucking Christmas gifts. If there is like if there is one thing and it's only ever going to be one thing because I the only problem I have the only problem I really had with the Master Chief collection is that they really limited the freaking customization thing you could do in the game. Yeah. So you couldn't mix and match your armor pieces anymore. It was just like, oh, you want to? Is like, hey, you want to have a, the Fotus helmet? You'll have all Fotus. Okay. And it's like, oh, okay. Okay, cool. so that was a thing. Hey, logic. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I remember that one time that Decker was streaming in really late, and we'll Decker has done a lot of stream. Deckard has done a lot of streams at times I would consider pretty late. Yeah, hey, you remember that one time Deckard breathed oxygen? Oh my god! Oh. Wow! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so Nightfall, what, what, yeah. The thing with Deckard. So. Oh wow, when somebody's fucking up late, other people get sleepy. Oh, oh. watch out! Those are some okay, so Nightfall, what are you getting at? What am I meant to be remembering? Come on. <laughs> oh, the fucking bird bath shit. Okay. <laughs> what? So, for those of you who don't know, during one of Deckard's streams, fucking Wolfhead got really tired, and he started talking about, as far as I can tell, a hypothetical situation in which Golden Fox is getting a bird bath because he's a Pegasus. And he just kept on saying, put Golden in the birth bar, in a really tired, kind of high sounding voice. Oh my god! And I started it! Okay. Mm. Those... It was fun. It was funny at the time, but now every time I hear it, it's just like, you, you, you do, you're really doing this again, aren't you? You're dead to me. This is, why? Okay. Why? <laughs> every, every time I hear it, it's just like, we've done this before! <laughs> okay, Logic, you know Wolfhead better than me. Are you- is- does he basically Whoa, shit. get sleep drunk? Is that what it basically is? A sleep drunk? I mean, I don't usually hear him tired because That's usually when he's tired, That's actually a term, he yes. Up. Oh my god, poor Wolfhead. That's <laughs> something that's called, uh, getting fucking sleep deprivation. Hmm. Well, it's I like to call it sleep drunk. Common. I like it's to call it sleep drunk because it's funnier. You needed amount of sleep. It's also something that we force our uh, teenagers to go through whenever we put them through high school because for whatever reason the geniuses up at the school districts and the fucking school board decided, oh hey, teenagers need to get nine hours of sleep, so let's fucking have our classes at goddamn seven in the morning so I have to get up at five and have them do homework up to fucking midnight. I know, yeah. right? That's I'm... that's some smart thinking there. Yeah, no, like okay. even like even actual doctors find it to be a problem. And yet, it still happens. Hmm. It's almost as if the education system doesn't prioritize the actual benefit of the people learning at all. Oh! oh no, no, no. I've been but through. thank God that we know the fucking Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, that's gonna fucking help okay, me out. It, yeah, I can't remember worse. all the fucking times I used Pythagorean Actually, I, theorem in real life. Is I just want to take I just want to take a moment to say that every school I have ever been to has, without fail, completely fucked up. Mostly with communication, but also with starting a lot of shit that never actually got finished. A perfect example: there was a trip at college, the most recent education establishment that failed me, where we went to London, and it was my first and probably last ever trip to London. We were going to. A, mu a science museum to look at some mathematics exhibits for a media project school was going to get us to do after the fact. Now, a terrorist attack happened at the House of Parliament during our visit to London, which is probably why I don't want to go back to London. Oh, because it's almost, as if it's almost as if life was waiting. Now, we weren't too close. Like, we were a safe distance away, but a lot of people were saying there could be other people, like other terrorists close by, so we were like, yeah, let's go home now. And a lot of traffic was stopped, and I was getting a lot of text messages from my mother and a couple of my friends because terrorists. And, um, yeah, so after going through all that, I was like, I bet you're all thinking, well, yeah, it's just like now for the media project. I bet that went far, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. It's like, they didn't even talk about that fucking thing again. We went to a museum and looked at a bunch of shit for fuck all, and it 
friggin' they weaved in a terrorist attack for good mi na okay. They the school didn't do the terrorist attack. I'm being expressive by saying that life itself weaved in a fucking okay, terrorism and things happened during this trip and at the same time the project was a complete bust and just yeah. Just stupid. This is like that. I'm just, I just think, also, I'm starting to think they had no idea what they were doing or they were just underprepared for everything because there was another project that was looking into the robotics side of media, even though that wasn't why anyone was there and they knew that's not why anyone was there. And the project surrounded this thing that Stephen Hawking was doing before he passed. May he rest. Yeah. And the whole thing was making robots to perform things in space because of the inevitability that Earth will eventually become uninhabitable, something, something, morbid, morbid, bullshit, bullshit. And, yeah, we did a bunch of ro- we- the idea was we were supposed to do a bunch of robot tasks, and then when we were done with those and testing them, we had to put them through tests and shit. So we built a bunch of robots, and then, in true fashion, and keeping with the pattern of this topic, we did absolutely fuck all. Hmm. I actually have a video on my phone of one of the machines I created that there I'll we post go. in the media room at some point, even though eh, it never really amounted to anything. It was kind of depressing. Mm -hmm. And it was just like that for the entire thing. We kept doing shit that amounted to absolutely fuck all, because as far as I can tell, the media section of the college was underdeveloped and not really taken serious. And at the same time, you know the IT support people? The people who are supposed to solve all the problems when computers fuck up, which they did all the fucking time in the college? Mm. One day, they all decided, hmm, let's all at the same time unanimously go for a fucking coffee break without telling anybody and leave the IT area with no one in it on the day when the Wi-Fi was down. Oh wow. my god. Yes. So we were all... So no, we couldn't do any of the stuff we needed I, to do I on that day. Prisoners, damn it! It was like we couldn't do anything, and the only people who could help us couldn't do anything. Nobody had any keys, and it was like, oh, okay. Um, there we shit. go. Now you have a chance. Well, I guess we just had to do this. Oh no, wait, we can't do this thing because none of the PCs work. Well, I guess we can go do. Oh no, wait, we can't do this thing either because everything nice. was computer work. Uh, All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Sorry for ram sorry for rambling on. No, I'm you're just fine. Really frustrated by the, the sheer school? amount of No, logic, I can definitely feel your pain because there's a shit ton of inconveniences that the school systems do that are so idiotic. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. I've been through worse when it comes to like back when you were on the subject on um uh like schools like uh, overworking students until midnight. And, yeah, that's fucked up. Um I've been through oh, worse. Lord. My dad abused me a lot. Ah. Day up around three to four in the fucking morning. Hi. Four in the fucking morning to and to complete my homework. He, he forces me to repeat to repeat uh, um, problems that he made on his own that weren't part of my homework. WTF? And he still did it to me when I was in in college until I finally flipped out at him. Good God. Did he stop after that? Yes, he did. He's good. Well, let's fucking hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. My mom was defend. My mom was defending me, and, and I was like completely just out. In fact, he's one of the reasons why I've been losing a lot of friends during my school years. Aww. Yeah, I easily relapsed a lot. Lost too many, many people back then. What? Mm. Mm. But now he's a better father. He's he's been he's a better he's a better uh, kind of parent to me. Good mm. lord. Mm -hmm. That sucks. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you all got happy endings. I still got a fuck ton of work that has amounted to nothing. Damn it. <laughs> um, I can't say the same. Like I've been through my own fair share of bad experiences at high school, especially Heck, most of my school hmm? life. Honestly. I was gonna ask you to up. Yeah. Oh, I hear Aeon. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ooh, eat that. But, uh, like, big examples of, uh, when in high school, when I was still bullied, and you think in high school, 
they would stop doing the classic bully <laughs> thing. No. <laughs> nope. They that will continue doing obvious. that until college. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Well, then I, I'll do that until your ass moves out. What are you talking? <laughs> Yeah, you soldiers think you're all that when you got those giant ass fucking shields. Guess what? I have fucking grenades. And also, I can come close and slit your throat. But there was like a. Okay. Holy shit, Golden, simmer down. Sorry. Am I too. Like, am I peeking? No, I meant as in, like, calm down, you're going to explode. Oh. Oh, just like this game? Just like the terrorists that tried charging me. You're not pink. You're not peeking, and you're not pinky. <laughs> that was bad. You should feel bad. Die. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Solar said. Anyway, um, basically there were two moments that happened when I was in high school that were like the biggest highlights of my entire life, and my mom still praises me for them. Like many, like to be expected, I was like one of those classic shy, timid, goody two shoe kind of girls. I never did anything bad. I never rebelled against my own mother and everything. I was that kind of kid. <laughs> hmm. However, there were two moments that happened in high school oh. where I went out of character, basically. Um, the first one, this happened a long time ago. There's a, there was this one girl, is to expect she was like one of those popular girls who talk badly about other girls who aren't in the same league, you know, the classic scenario of popular girls in high school. Blah blah blah. So cunt. <laughs> exactly. That's well, a great way to put it, logic. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> this happened one time. I think this class I was in was um the cooking class. Also, just quickly, you guys can clip that if you want and then post it everywhere. Don't care. <laughs> anyway, continue. That you're looking hey. for economics. Yes, thank you. It was um, economics. I um, I was just minding my own business. We weren't doing any cooking at the time. We just had to do a few paperwork. I was minding my own business, but I did manage to overhear this girl talking crap about me. I could tell she was, too. Huh. And when I looked up at her, I could see the snide and obvious smug look on her face. Like, yeah, I know you can hear me and all that kind of kind of attitude. Heard you was talking <laughs> shit. I, 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 I got you to just imagine me like, so, um, would you like to meet your desk with your face? No, I did something better. Oh, Not oh. A, I did something non-physical, but it was enough to leave a mark. Oh. I gave her the bird. I gave her the bird. Right where she could see it, in front of her friend. Yeah. With the most evil glare in my eyes. <laughs> and she yes. flipped really out. Brilliant. Fucking she talking shit out. about she people. She flipped out not... over a middle finger. That's hilarious. Yes. yes. In fact, it got to the point where she had told the principal. <laughs> and the principal told my mom. And at the, conveniently, I had to go to a doctor's appointment at that day, at that time, too. So, um, when my mom took me to the car to go, after she talked to the principal about it, you know what she said? What? Yeah. I am so proud of you! Bravo! That's a great, great mother. Let's yeah, get uh, hashtag like, bravo so Jesse in the chat. <laughs> yes! She was like so flippin' proud of me. I was like, Mom, stop your embarrassing me. <laughs> she was getting on my nerves. I had to do it. <laughs> Even though this sounds really wrong out of context, I now dub Jesse Cunt Killer. And that's worth taking a drink too, hold on. <laughs> Somebody clip that. The cunt killer. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. Jesse fucking okay, slays. Somebody's, somebody's gonna be drawing a, a okay. Jesse, Jesse. No, uh, no, no. Uh, Actually, here's a better term. Cunt slayer. Okay, okay, like somebody, <laughs> somebody needs to draw a Jesse's pony Sona, um, at whatever her persona is. Um, it's a, uh, and, it's a Kieran. Okay, uh, her Kieran Sona. Uh, Fuck. Uh, on top of, on top of a corpse of a, uh, uh, of a bitch, and, and just. And just put and just label her cunt killer. Just use oh. one. Just use one of the main hat knights from the show. 
<laughs> oh, I got. That's not the only time I did a the moment where I, everybody was not expecting me to act like it. There were. This has happened in lunch period once. Um, I was waiting in line to get the French fries because they take forever. Okay, this is gonna be the rundown. They are slow with some of their foods. One of the few things that were good was their hamburgers and their French fries. It takes oh, forever yeah. to wait that long for the fries. When I finally got mine, the last one, before they had to make more, I was careful. I put some ketchup on and to the side like I normally do every time. Got ready to get in line to check out. All of a sudden, somebody bumps into me, knocking all the fries on the floor. <gasps> and the dude that was right behind me was like, oh, sorry. But then I looked right back at him with the most terrifying death glare I have ever given anybody. Tell you knocked his stuff out of his hand. No, but the, the fact that I just gave him such a horrifying stare down death glare at him, he was like, oh crap, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He freaking cried, he freaking I'll, stared at him. I get the crap out of him. That could, that could just be like, you're dead to me. Exactly, like, I went with fucking, Batman mode, basically. What you should have said. <laughs> It's like you should you should have stepped up to him and yeah, yeah. said <laughs> you should have stepped. What did you, you say? Should, it's like you should have stepped up to him and then just said, "Bring me my prize." <laughs> did you hurt her? I, you I wanted to know what she said. Nicole, repeat what you just said. She stared her like big in a bad bag. <laughs> I didn't catch that. I don't know what she said exactly, but she said she scared him like some kind of pig, I think. I don't know exactly what she said, but it was funny the way she said it. Kid gibberish. <laughs> the most fun language to listen to. Because it Kid can mean anything. Kiddish. <laughs> Kiddish is a good girl. Baby girl. Baby girl, I love you. You know that? I love you. Jesse, I think your daughter oh, no. is oh. speaking Kiddish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Magical is on point with these clips. Okay. <laughs> the, and then the... Um, okay, after that whole... Also, I, I just want to point out that in the distant future, when Nicole's all grown up, I want... is like, Jessie is going to be showing her these streams, and Nicole's going to be like, I can't believe that was going on right beside me, and I couldn't hear it. Oh, Nicola's gonna have quite a quite an impression when she uh, looks back at this. Oh, oh. Hey, Morpheus is here. We had the Master Clipper. Yay, he's here. But it's like I think it's hilarious how the stream is juggling the adorable Nicole moments all the while we're just sitting here saying, "Yeah, Cunslayer," and talking about <laughs> our high school experiences. Okay, this last one is the best one out of all of them. I think you're gonna love this. The last one was during when I had to take, um, ah, uh, crap. Oh, fuck's sake, Morpheus! I try, to, I try to remember what it was called. Morpheus, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and Jedi, you're not helping. Shut up! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you saw it now! Jedi, shut up! Screw I feel, you two! I feel bad because Bliss isn't here. No, Even though she's on vacation, which makes me feel better. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, she's on vacation with, uh, with Josh and Dr. Wolf. Mm -hmm. Ah, crap! What was it? It was the... We know. <laughs> it's at the top of my tongue. It's the one where you have to take care of farm animals and such. What was it called? Animal Crossing? Agriculture. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, you, you're talking about the, the thing where you do that, not a game. Not a video yeah. game. No, an actual... Class. Agriculture, the video game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. There was another kid, set of kids that one of them obviously had a speaking disorder because she didn't really talk much, and she also had like physical disorder. Like she's her body was very slow, so she couldn't really do a lot of movements. So know? she started and she didn't move as fast as everybody else. No, that's not what happened. But there was this other girl. I believe she had a certain level of autism. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, but, uh, but these two were walking 
targets for a bunch of the old other kids in there who were bullying them. Now this is where it gets. It, now this is where it gets to one part that. Oh my really God! Cemented my place in the school. Jesus Christ! Oh God, dang, Colton. I'm sorry. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> a metric fuck ton of all the colors of the rainbow. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what, what is this game? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. <laughs> It's just like what's better oh, than that. one. Ra it's like what's better than one random wave of yellow enemies. One random wave of purple enemies. What's better than one random wave of purple enemies? <laughs> Two random waves of yeah. purple enemies. <laughs> not the rainbows. <laughs> oh, the evil kind, not the bliss kind. <laughs> anyway, to continue the uh, my story. Oh. One time when we have this thing, like most high schools, they have like a multiple period of, for lunchtime. So, uh -huh. we were in, like, the ones in the middle. Yeah. Oh, God. Now, this one girl, um, every time the first period starts, a lot of kids there were, like, instinctively getting ready to go to lunch, but, you know, it's not time for lunch. But these two girls were excused to go to the first period lunch, lunch because of one of them's slow disability. Which is understandable. Mm -hmm. However... What led to this particular moment? One of the- the girl with the autism said out of the blue eh? Like she would say that to dogs <laughs> Oh that god kind of Okay As it started off that every boy in that freaking classroom started poking fun of her about it But they were all of them saying eh, 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 And like oh my god oh. And this lasted for about a month What stopped it? Oh shit me! I stopped it. Here's how. Another one? Basically, when it was like, I've been at, hearing this for the whole month, and I was working on one of my uh, homework for one oh, of my previous classes. And then, lunch period was starting. They were about to get ready to start it up. And then all of a sudden, I was with the most irritated voice ever. I was like, will you guys Stop it! Some of us here are trying to work! And immediately, everybody went quiet and looked right at me with a shock. Even the teacher looked at me with a shocked expression on their face. Because I was always quiet, I was never one to suddenly speak up. The moment I did, that caught everybody by surprise. And ever since then, they never said that, used that joke ever since in that class. Because I'd be looking right at every single one of them with an obvious glare like, I am watching you all. And I'm going to really deck you if you dare start it up again. Kind of expression on my face, like they were like, oh crap, let's not get her mad. Because <laughs> I was done with that nonsense. <laughs> And that pretty much submitted myself being the obvious, okay, this girl once was bullied, now became savage. To the bullies, basically. <laughs> I was... Uh, that was like one of those days that my mom still laughs at it to this day. But yeah, that was like one of the few memories of high school still stay in my head because oh, that was like fuck. one of my best moments of my life. Okay. Also, so, yeah. uh, real quick, there's this, there's a samurai guy. Um, hold on. So who's yeah. in the going to close? I want to make another mistake again with Lucky. Two, three. Oh, oh. I didn't get what he was talking the, about. Okay, desert samurai is. It's the it's the thing with Jesse and Lightning Bliss, and they're just oh. like they wanted to apologize for mistaking them and making a big joke out of it. I guess even though. It's it, it's kind of a joke in and of itself anyway. Like I don't think there's real harm to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Desert, don't don't tear yourself up about it. Don't like, tear it, yourself up on it, dude. It's perfectly like, fine. It's all in good fun. Nobody's gonna hate you for honest it's fun. It's all good in the hood. Jesus fucking. <laughs> Hi, Master Code. <laughs> hey, Code. He was like, on here for a while, Colton. <laughs> it's like we don't allow. It's like, well, I can't see the roster when I'm in the middle of a game. God damn it. Uh, don't yeah, worry, Golden, I got you. Yeah, but don't <laughs> worry about it, Desert Samurai. It's perfectly fine. Hmm. 
I'm not offended. I'm gonna probably easily get riled up, but I'm not offended. So don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, none of us Wait, here are just... social justice warriors. You're perfectly fine to enjoy yourself and have fun because. Oh my god, you know, did you actually bring out that word? <laughs> I can already hear. SJ already... SJW is my buzzword at the moment because every time I hear a story about something to do with a survivor, every time I hear a story that has something to do with anything on the internet that's slightly negative. They all, the, the term social justice warrior is always coined as the person who's just like, well, yeah, but it's like the person who's obviously the bad guy is obviously the good guy. Why? Well, be, be, shut up. Nobody asked you. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in it's like that one Cards Against Humanity card that says that one in a million feminists with a compelling argument, only it's an yeah. SJW instead. Woo! <laughs> Now, disclaimer, I'm not against feminists in any way, because feminists are not bad people. Feminazis are bad people. <laughs> I was I was taught I was taught to differentiate the two by a friend of mine. It works really well. <laughs> I like that though. Feminazis. I like that. I need to remember that from now on. <laughs> we're, we're learning a lot today, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Congratulations, everyone. I have taught you a way to talk about bad feminists without feeling bad by calling them something that isn't bad feminists. <laughs> yes. <sighs> now we know. You Send guys Who's learned? sending me a friend request? No. Fuck off. Random people from servers I'm not even a part of would send me the fucking random friend request. Okay, oh. logic. Calm down. Yeah. Hey, they do all it right. all the time. It bothers I, me. I think it's time I just call it like, call it a day and go to post show. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah.